just fed about a thousand nymphs and uh, it took about three or four hours by myself. Um, we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. You noticed I have certain ones that are different, kind of special, that I will be keeping as my breeders, which I sift out as time goes on. Here I have quite a few ready to start breeding. Now that I did my chores, the fun can begin. Here's some that have already been bred. Ba -ba -ba. Eat your flies. They're getting cold. And then, um, let's see, I got this in the mail today, might as well show you. Can you see that? There, I'll give you a hand. That's what they are. Tarantulas. Uh, like 30... Four of them, 33, 34 of them. All in these nice little tubes. Aren't they beautiful? Baby tarantula swings. Lots of them. Let's see here. Get a better look at them. Now that I finished my manta chores, I get to uh, work on these and then work on some scorpions and then what I'll be working on next. Probably making some more videos. If I have time, hopefully. And then uh, I have a few vivariums I need to build using those plants. Right there. Zoom in. Well, uh, it's not, it doesn't really count as a tour um, of the entire shop or anything, but um, I thought I'd just show you kind of what I do in my day to day. Um, I guess I'll just tell you, I, uh, I just got off a 12 hour shift. I work 12 hours, um, about four to five days a week. Um, and, uh, usually I feed about every other day, everything. Sometimes if I have hatches, I feed every day. Uh, L1s starve to death and die of thirst really quickly, so you have to take good care of them. I mean, they're just babies, you know. Um, they're really weak and you need to make sure that they have everything they need and uh, I've had the peacocks for about 36 hours and they've already been fed and watered twice um, you know if they didn't eat the flies they were replaced so that they do have food when they are ready to eat um, yep I'm a tired mess um, working 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, a lot of days actually I work I mean, I'm, I get scheduled X amount of days, and then uh, I'm off a bit, but they like to call, you know, ask for help. They pay really well, so I can't really say no, but um, I work for a, a pharmaceutical company, um, so we make medicine for sick people. It's always a good job to be in. Um, also, I'm in school for microbiology. There's my alarm. That's a special alarm. Um, I kind of telling you guys some personal stuff. I might as well tell you. 
that's the alarm to take my meds, which I have to take every 12 hours without fail. I am not allowed to miss these medications, so now it's time to go do that, and uh, maybe I'll give you a little more of a tour. If you notice, a lot of the walls are studded up in here. There you are. We're remodeling on top of everything else. But like I was saying, I go to school for microbio and entomology, so Ooh, that's that's fun. Right now I'm on summer break, so I'm kind of enjoying the little bit of free time I have, which really isn't any free time at all. And, you know, people people complain about a lot of things, you know. You know, like, oh, I want more videos, or you know, I don't, you know, faster shipping, or whatever it is. But I'm just one guy. I'm doing this on my own, and uh, I do have, you know, an intern who comes a couple times a week and helps me feed. That's kind of a nice little break for me. But I'm also teaching him a ton of things a ton of things. He wants to get into biology and uh, he doesn't know what field so I've been taking him all over Wisconsin uh, you know uh, catching salamanders um, we went to this buddy of mine he's an herbalist uh, he grows like a lot of extirpated plants like threatened endangered stuff that is only in existence because you know through captive uh, reproduction of these you know production of these uh, flora that they that he has and we went and learned about that and you know the, the trade-off for the for the little bit of help I get is I teach and so I mean that takes time too I'll teach anyone that wants to learn I'll take I'll put the time aside to make sure that people have the information they're after especially you know beginners the basics um, my time is really, really valuable. Um, it's it, I don't get much time to do anything, really. And the only thing that I really have time for that I do that I like to do, other than spend time with my family, is um, doing my bugs. Keeps me sane. Keeps me happy. Keeps me busy. So you saw how glamorous it is from the. Nice uh, setup I got. Just sitting here feeding. You know, pick a couple real nice mantids that I'm gonna keep. You know, they're real special. Usually they have some extra coloration or you know, some ex. This one has quite a bit of extra red on its legs. This Hirudula membracea, common giant Asian, probably the most common um, species. And uh. There he is. You're not going to focus on him. You're going to focus on me. It's about an L3. A lot of good color on it. And it's a male. Um, yeah, people are surprised. Oh, you know, how old do you got to be? They got to be much older to sex them. Much older. I can see the segments really well. This is a guaranteed male. Um, so, I mean, I, give, I do pairs. As long as people ask for them, I'll send them whatever they want. Um, he's just a real nice one, isn't he? Anyway, right now I'm working on identification keys for mantids, um, which is taking a long time. It's a lot of work because right now there aren't any like visual identification keys for mantids. So there's not even a set, there's not a book or something you can buy that tells you, you know, what makes a species a species. They're unique, you know, it makes it its own, you know, its own, uh, you know, uni unique uh, animal. So what happens is they, once something is found that's different in nature out of, say, these giant Asians, they will, uh, write down a description they will describe them and uh, that in taxonomy that um, 
they they write down you know the differences this is what makes this difference this is new this is a new species problem with that is we have a really hard time because of how many species and subspecies and how many genus of say just something like mantids have um, so when you you know we get our hands on them we don't always really know exactly what they are and it takes a lot of work to identify them and that's where I'm most interested in learning is just identification taxonomy making things easier not just for the hobbyists, for, for the science. Just being able to uh, identify these, I think, is a big deal. Anyway. I had fun. Uh, I got stuff to do. I gotta get some sleep. And I'll make some more videos, I promise. Just give me some time. That's all I need. Just more time. Good day. Bye. This is a new camera. I can't even touch the button. What's it doing?